Welcome to round five, Navi Acres, Niowa. It's been a minute. We've had four weeks off, so it kind of feels like it's round one because I don't know what to do. Having some cold beers. Wife's with us. We're with the Muffins. Muff is riding his bike somewhere. We're all set up. We got a good spot. Kind of level. Not perfect, but we'll make it work. We're waiting for Mark and Trevor. Unfortunately, they will not be here today on Friday. Uh, they had to get their RV fixed after the last round and unfortunately it wasn't ready till today a little later uh, this evening so they're gonna drive up nice and early tomorrow so when they get here uh, we'll show you guys then maybe I don't know maybe we won't I've always liked this track I've done really good here over the years so hopefully uh, Sunday we can have a good race we've uh, been doing some work over the break riding and just trying to stay in shape it's gonna be hot probably gonna see some dust but it should be good so we'll give you guys the usual action and uh we'll probably bike the track early tomorrow because it's gonna be hot so we'll probably ride the track in the morning sorry mark we might not wait for you so hopefully you leave super early but we'll show you some of the track and then we'll show you the usual stuff we'll show you some race action on sunday and then uh, hopefully we'll see some of our friends axel's right there he wants me to play with him that's All right, guys, Mark finally showed up. <clears throat> We're going to bike the track, show you guys anything cool that way that we might see. I know there's uh, one or two hill climbs, so maybe we'll stop and show you guys that. It's not super hot out yet, but it's definitely getting there. But I think inside the woods will be pretty cool. So here's the start. You can see pretty much it's in the opposite because we started down there last year right oh no we started here last year here, yeah right? so the start's the I think same we're a little bit further up though yeah so the start is kind of the same there's some turns ahead of us like a, a left a right and a left and then we go through the same spot as last year way down there there's two poles but this year we're going to go to the left because the track is the opposite direction so we'll be going that way and then we're going to go across the street into the new section they did last year first and then back into the main stuff so let's get going all right so we made it to uh, I'm guessing this is probably the biggest hill climb on the property. They have the track set up even though it's backwards, we still hit it, which is fun. So this is this is like maybe three or four other smaller hills, but this is the biggest one. There's like two lines, it's not too bad, pretty fast. There's a bypass here. So Trevor, sea riders, that way. Um, but overall guys, I mean this track looks really, really sweet. They did a good job. It looks like they dozed the whole track, like it's so fresh. They got some new sections. Um, they got like that same big hill climb, which we just showed you. A couple other smaller hills, some downhills, some nice fun field sections. And then there's a bunch of areas uh, with some split lines, uh, which is cool. Overall, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. What do you think, Mark? It's gonna be fast. How's the new bike? I love it. Mark's got a nice new e-bike. He broke that bad boy in Vermont a couple weeks ago. We had just about 12 miles. They do have it marked at 13, uh, but they always kind of spread it out uh, just to get that last mile marker in. But it looks like pretty close to a 12 mile track and that was taking the bypass for the hill climb uh, only because we won't make it up that on the e-bikes. But definitely a good track. We're back at camp. Here's Muff who didn't make it. What do you think of the track, Muff? Pretty good. Looks good, right? Uh, some good trails out there. Some field sections we can open it up. Oh yeah. Good it should be a fun one. Good morning, race fans. It is freaking race day. It is absolutely beautiful out. Not too hot yet. It's gonna get hot, but I think it'll be all right. The little guys and the mini bikes are heading up to the line. We're gonna go get some race action for you guys. Trevor's up. What's up, Trevor? Big mock's up. I don't know about the muffins. They're probably up. They're not outside yet. Get the quads ready a little later. Just charge up the batteries, things like that. Check air pressure. We got the charger ready to go once we fire up the generator. Mark, what day is it? Race day. Race day. You ready or what? Oh yeah. Yeah, Mark's ready. All right, we'll see you guys on the line. Mm -hmm.
freaking hot out. We gotta get in the garage. We got AC again in the garage, finally. So, can finally start working in here and get back to normal. So it's Monday, guys. You guys know that by seeing how bright it is out, out there. So I'm um, showing you the quad, not dirty at all. This race wasn't like a dusty hell. It wasn't that bad, actually. Uh, we had a couple spots that were dusty, but it wasn't as bad as Seneca Highlands, that's for sure. I will say a huge shout out to the Navi Acres crew, the landowners, the promoters, all the volunteers. They did a wicked good job, guys, uh, of setting up this track and actually watering uh, the, the areas that probably would have been a disaster with the dust. They watered two large field sections and they watered the start. Um, so those areas were perfect the whole entire race. So it did get pretty beat up by the third lap only because some sections uh, were really, really dry. But that's to be expected um, with this kind of racing and, you know, hundreds of bikes and hundreds of quads doing lap after lap after lap so but overall a huge shout out to you guys at Navi Acres the track was awesome as far as my as far as my race goes we got back on the podium guys so I'm pumped about that we ended up finishing second and 25th overall which is a huge improvement over round four the quad win the the, the I can't even talk the quad ran great uh, my problem before was a bad manual idle speed control this guy was bad we changed it out quad ran great i did test it out the week before so i knew she was good to go a couple more tweaks and this girl's gonna get be dialed in and then hopefully i can actually battle uh, for a win but my start was crap guys i don't know if i hit the throttle a little too soon but the quad i think it started quick and then it stalled right out so that was my fault I might have been second to last or dead last. I'm not even sure, but I was way in the back. You'll see that on the race video, way in the back. So we got going. We were all in pretty much a train on the start, except for Eric. Eric got another whole shot and another win. He was gone pretty quick after the first lap. So congrats to you, man. You are killing it. But um, we were chasing Kevin. We got to the first big field section and uh, coming down a real long, fast straightaway with a hard left turn. I was coming in a little bit hot. I tried stopping, ended up rear-ending rear Kevin. Uh, basically, I got my front tire stuck kind of right between here and his quad. So we both lost a little bit of time. I apologize, Kevin. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully your quad's okay. But we were stuck for a minute or two. We had to get the quads unstuck. There was a couple races. I know Jesse Ward had passed us. I'm not sure if he was the last guy or if there was another one after him. I'll have to see my race video, but I know at that point i think i was last uh, so we got going again i had to i had to chase down kevin again i was able to get around him i caught up to jesse we hit we hit just a tiny bottleneck it was only a few riders there was a rider that hit a tree that was kind of sideways blocking the trail so i didn't waste any time i got right around those guys and uh came through lap one and third which was pretty good i'll take it so we charged uh at the start of lap two we caught mike stevens got around him which put me in second and then we came through at the end of lap two second place by that time eric was gone i just tried to charge as hard as i could i had jason rude on my tail all of lap three so we were moving there was no breaks there was no resting and uh ended up finishing in second which was sweet i'll take it but um definitely a fun weekend it's always good seeing everybody we got the usual footage we got mini quads we got peewee quads and my wife uh, got big quads so hopefully you guys enjoy that footage huge thank you for the wife uh, for coming and cheering me on it's always awesome to have her there overall the weekend was great and another huge huge shout out to my buddy mark mark got his i don't know if it was his first hole shot but he got the hole shot yesterday which was awesome and he got his first podium finish huge shout out to you mark awesome job keep grinding man you're going to get a win. I think you're going to get a win this year. You got to keep working hard. But the group as a whole did great. Muff got first. Trevor got first. And then me and Mark both got second. So it was a good showing by all of us. We all came home with some hardware, which is good. And uh, we're all going to get ready for round six. Ditch banger. That's always a good track. So we're going to get this girl cleaned up and get her prepped 
and get ready for round six. But that's a wrap for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. That helps a ton. Drop some comments. Let me know what you think. And if you're not yet, please subscribe. And we'll see you at round six. Peace.